to clarify, I am wearing a top. Okay, taking the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion, I'm going to use this all over my lid to prime. Next, I'm going in with the Lorac Mega Pro palette. So, I just got my hands on this palette. It is so beautiful. I can't, you guys know how much I love Lorac eyeshadows. I had to get it. So taking the shade Porcelain, which is just a color that's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, I'm going to use this as my base underneath my brow bone and all over my eye. Now I'm going to go in with Tawny, which is a nice soft brown shade into the crease. This is going to be my transition shade for all the colors that I'm going to apply on my eye. I'm going to take Purple and apply some color right underneath that transition shade. The way I'm applying this is under the transition shade and kind of bringing it outward because I want to elongate the eye with this entire look. Now going in with the Urban Decay Electric Palette, I'm going to take this beautiful purple shade and apply this underneath that purple. Taking a clean brush, I'm just going to blend all this together. You want to make sure the top part looks nice and blended. Now taking a little bit of Greek, I'm going to be using this color more into the beginning one third of the lid. And now taking Fringe, which is pretty much the star of the look, we're going to use this on the rest of the lid. I'm gonna go back in with this dark purple shade Urban and apply this to the crease because I feel like it looks a little bit messy. Now for the outer corner, I'm going to take black from the Lorac Mega Pro palette and do circular motions focused on the outer corner area and wing it out and bring it inwards. It's okay if this bottom half looks messy, because we are actually going to clean up that part of the eye. You wanna make sure this top part is what looks blended. And make sure to start off with a little bit of black because this color is so dark that it's really hard to blend. You wanna make sure that everything mixes nicely with the blue and the purple in the crease. Now go back in with that purple shade and just blend the black and the purple together. Now taking a clean fluffy brush, make sure to blend that top part because it needs blending. <laughs> I think my arm is going to fall off because I'm blending so much. Oh, my brow is falling off because I'm blending so hard. Now going with a chunky flat brush, I'm also going to go back in with porcelain and touch up that brow color. This is also going to help clean up the look. Now we're gonna go in with some glitter. I am taking the Lit Cosmetics Glitter Adhesive along with K-Man, that's what it's called. Um, it's like this beautiful blue reflex glitter. I don't know. But it is so pretty, and I think it is perfect for this look. I'm taking the back of um, this brush. This is from the Urban DK Naked 3 palette, and just using this to kind of press in the glitter and blend it. Now I'm gonna go back in and touch up on that black and purple shades in the outer crease. Now that the glitter is on, I'm gonna go back in with Freak and use this more into the beginning one third and touch up this area. Now I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Thunderstruck Shadow. This eyeshadow is seriously the perfect highlight for fair skin. Now taking a makeup remover wipe, I'm going to wipe from the corner of my eye to the edge of my eyebrow and also wipe off the glitter. For liner, I'm just going to take the, um, the Kat Von D Ink Trooper Liner.
For mascara, I'm just taking the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara to coat my top lashes first. For lashes, I am taking the, they were upside down. <laughs> I'm taking the House of Lashes Lashes in Soho. I feel like these are really pretty and wispy and they open up your eyes really nicely, so yeah. Okay, so the lashes are on. They're pretty natural, but they're, this is what I consider natural. Hold on. They're really long and wispy, but you can still see the look behind it, which is exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going to hydrate with my Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer. You guys know how much I love this. Now I'm taking a new foundation. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. If you guys want a more in-depth review on this, let me know. I would love to film it for you guys. For concealer, I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Are you even surprised? This is literally all I use. Now going back to the eyes, I'm lining my waterline with the Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Liner. This is just a nude liner. Taking a gel pencil liner, I'm just going to line my lower lash line. I am stopping about three-fourths in because I want to add that green color that I'm obsessed with. What is it called? Freak from the Urban Decay palette. I'm just going to add that and pop it right there. And then for the black, I'm going to use Fringe, which was the color we used on the lid, and just smoke it out. As I'm blending together, I'm trying to blend these colors together as well. I'm going to add some mascara to my lower lashes. Taking my MAC 135 brush, I'm going to take this MAC bronzer called Nude On Board. This is a prolonged wear bronzer. I think it might be limited edition. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure. I think so because of the packaging, but I feel like they have a bunch of different dupes. There's MAC Give Me Sun, there's so many other bronzers they have. Now I'm taking my Kat Von D Contour Palette and just sculpting my cheeks a little bit. For blush, I am taking this really pretty Essence blush called Life's a Cherry. These blushes are so pigmented, like, can we just, um, Hello. So I'm only taking the tiniest bit on my Morphe 405 and applying this to the apples of my cheeks really lightly. Like this is so pigmented. For highlight, I am taking actually the Kat Von D Thunderstruck eyeshadow. This is so beautiful. So you know Kai, the honey beige on YouTube, he told me about using this as a highlight and I'm so obsessed, like, look at that. It's such a pretty highlight. It's really, really nice, and it's super pigmented. I'm going to pretty much bathe myself in this highlighter. And to set everything, I am taking the MAC Mineralized Charged Water. For lips, I am taking a Dose of Colors <laughs> Lipstick in Poise. But I want a little bit more of gloss, so I'm taking Anastasia's lip gloss in Undressed. Just in the inner area. Alright, so if you want to, just do some loose boho waves and you can apply a little flower to your head. This is actually my little sister's <laughs> flower, so I just, she, I asked her if she had any like mermaid-like accessories and she told me a flower would do, so. I am following her advice. And this is the finished looks. I love you guys so much and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye everybody!